guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Ithya Kimari. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up if you like this. You can also get to know me better by watching my previous video, which is linked in the description bar below and somewhere right above. Also follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram at Ithya Kimari. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this look, which is just the back to school everyday makeup routine using drugstore products only. If you want to know how to achieve this look as well as the products I use, just keep watching. To start off, I'm going to take my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15. I'm just going to apply that all over my face to make sure my face is properly moisturized throughout the whole day. Once that is done, I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses Go Brow Pencil in dark brown. I'm going to brush up my eyebrows and follow the shape of my brows because I want this to look as natural as possible. Yeah, I'm just going to fill them in lightly using short hair-like strokes. Repeat the same technique on the other side as well. Once I'm done filling in my brows, I'm just going to take my spoolie and I'm just going to brush up the hairs of my brows. Taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa, I'm going to put that underneath my brows and at the top of my brows as well, just to outline the shape of my brows and to clean up my brows properly. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the concealer and apply some concealer in the middle of my forehead as well. Yeah, so I'm just going to blend that out and once I'm done, I'm just going to take a swoolie and brush up my hairs. The next thing I'm going to do is take my Got To Be Blasting Free Spray. I like to apply this on my spoolie and just use it to brush up the hairs on my brows because it keeps it in place all day. Once I'm done doing that, I'll be taking my NYX Studio Perfect Primer and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes, on my forehead, in my T-zone and on my chin. And I'm just going to blend that out. And make sure I have primer all over my face because that gives me a flawless canvas to apply foundation on and makes my makeup stay perfect all through the day. Yeah, so once I feel like I have properly primed my face, I'm going to go in with my Mario Badescu Green Tea Facial Spray. And I'm just going to spray that all over my face. While I wait for that to dry, I'm going to spray it on my foundation brush and on my foundation as well just to prep my foundation to glide easily on my skin. I'm going to go in brush like strokes and dots and just apply that foundation all over my skin. This foundation is medium to full coverage so you can apply as much as you'd like. I just want a medium coverage today. So I'm going to take that foundation brush and I'm just going to, going to blend out the foundation outwards of my face just because I don't want any streaks or any brush strokes on my face yeah so i'm going to blend out my forehead as well and once that is done i'm going to take my beauty blender and my mario badescu facial spray i just use my beauty blender to dab all over my face to give me more of a flawless foundation look I like to go in once more with my foundation to apply it on the darker parts of my face which is usually around my mouth and underneath my eyes because I have hyperpigmentation and dark circles. Yeah, so I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend that out again and to make it look as flawless as possible. Once I'm done, I will be taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in dark cocoa and I'm just going to lightly highlight underneath my eyes. Using of my beauty blender, I'm just going to dab underneath my eyes and make sure I blend out that concealer. I'm also going to take the same Elegal Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze and I'm going to apply it in the middle of my nose, underneath my eyes again, and on my Cupid's bow. I also like to apply a little bit on my forehead. I'm going to use my beauty blender once more to blend out that concealer and to make sure it's seamless and flawless. I'm 
going to dab, 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 and blend. Once I'm done taking my LA Girl Pro Powder in Banana Yellow, and I'm going to be using that to set my face. I like to use a different beauty blender to press the powder into my skin. But while doing this, I realized this pink beauty blender wasn't working. So yeah, I'm going to switch to the black beauty blender because I feel like that one works better. I'm just going to press in that powder into my skin. That makes it look more flawless in my opinion than setting. So yeah, I'm going to press it underneath my eyes ev everywhere I applied my concealer. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to put it right below the hollows of my cheeks to make my face look snatched and slim. I'm just going to dust off that excess powder because I don't want my face looking ashy. I'm going to take my sleek face form in medium 374 using the darkest shade. Just going to put that into the hollows of my cheeks and going to put that in my jawline as well. Also on the temple of my forehead and in the middle of my forehead. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Powder in Cocoa. I'm just going to use a face brush to apply that onto my face and to blend out all the excess powder. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild eyeliner in black and I'm just going to tight line and line my waterline. I'm just going to apply powder underneath that. The next thing I'm going to do is take my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and I'm going to apply that on my lashes. I love 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 this stuff <laughs> i'm kind of cute but i love this stuff it really really brings out my lashes whenever i use this so yeah i put it on my bottom lash and i also put it on my top lash as well once i'm <laughs> i'm cute <laughs> once i'm done doing that i take my rimmel london extra 3d mascara i just apply that on my bottom lash and i use that to prep my top lash as well Next, I'll be taking my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara and I'm just going to use that on my top lash and I'm going to put a little bit of that on my bottom lash as well just to make it look good. Next, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray and I'm going to be spraying my fan brush and going into my Sleek Face Form Contouring Palette, I'll be taking the middle shade which is like a champagne color and the other shimmery shade. I'm just going to highlight lightly on my face. I like to also go in with a smaller highlighting brush to get into the corners of my face as well. Yeah, so I'm just going to highlight my T-zone and my forehead as well and my cupid's bow. Once again, I'm going to take my face powder and I'm just going to put that all over my face. To make sure everything looks good. Taking my Sleek Blush by 3 palette in Sugar, I'm going to take the first two shades. I'm just going to apply some blush on my cheeks to give me a bit more color to my face. After that, I'm just going to set my face with my setting spray. Taking my LA Girl Lip Liner in Medium Brown, I'm just going to line my lips. But before I do that, I'm just going to clean it up with my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I'm taking a nude lipstick by NYC and I'm just going to apply that in the middle of my lips where I did not line. Yeah, I'm just going to apply more lip liner and apply shea butter. After that, I'm just going to top my lip with the lip shine. And yeah, that is it guys. That is the look. So yeah, you have your back to school makeup look, which is really easy, really affordable, can be done under 15 minutes. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you use any of these products as well or if you're going to try any of these products as well. Make sure you're subscribed and see you in my next video guys.